This brawler is broken. We're going to play every single mode with full randoms just to show you guys how strong Kit is. And by the way, I have him at rank 35 level, so these are not going to be easy matches. So the whole idea behind Kit is that you could just jump on your teammates or jump on the enemy and you either do a lot of damage or you stun the player. So you guys can see right here, I'm going to fully stun Janet and that's going to be a free kill for my teammate. Just like that, I'm one hit away from a super and I could just do the same thing again. Now, obviously, there's some matchups that are easier and some that are harder. I can't really jump on this melody, but when I get an easy matchup, it's more than free. You guys can see we're able to jump on that janet that's a free kill and then i'm just gonna jump right back into the mid just like that i'm basically at my super again and i have the option now i can jump on my dragon i can jump on the opposing player here because i have a lot of gems i'm gonna jump on my dragon give him some hp and now we're just a little thrower basically now our dragon unfortunately you know is like the strongest brawler in the game so obviously this is gonna be easy but you guys can see it's really easy to win these games like really 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 easy i'm gonna pick up this gem now we have countdown janet does have me low but unfortunately not too much they can do we do have our dragon form and crow with the gems oh no looks like our dragon's actually gonna go down let me jump on him to give him some hp and there we go we get some kills so like you guys can see this is like the most versatile brawler the game has seen in a really long time dragon come back here i'm gonna go over here and jump off his back just in case Janet's gonna jump here. We're gonna get an easy kill. I can go invis whenever I want. And just like that, that is a very easy cat win on game number one. We even beat Code Ash BS in the first game. Okay, so here we go into our heist game. We have a Nani and a Edgar on our team. I actually know who this Nani is. So we got paired up with someone that we know. Yeah, they have Colt, Buzz, and Melody. So they have a really good comp. I guess the goal for us is gonna be more or less just to stun the Colt over and over because he's their main source of damage. Please. All right, we got our kill. Hopefully our teammates can get theirs. One, two, three. And let's get some damage here. Now, how did the cold know? Oh my God. Okay, they did pretty crazy damage to be honest. I think we might be screwed this game just because their comp is so good, but we do have the cat. So let's see what happens. Now, again, I'm trying to stun whatever player does the most damage on their team. So I'm usually going to be hopping on either the Colt or the Melody. I'm going to jump on my teammate here just to see what I can do. I think I can keep them back a little bit. Oh, really good shots onto that buzz, actually. I'm going to jump off as well, which is an option. You can always just jump off the back and go aggro if you want to. Oh, no. Okay. So, I mean, we're doing okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to try and jump on the melody. I'm not going to land on him, unfortunately, but we're going to be able to get the kill anyways. Let's get the coal, and there we go. That should be a free kill. Our Nani gets the kill, and we're looking good again. Melody does get a couple hits there. Edgar's gonna hypercharge jump in. I'm gonna land on this Colt. That should be a kill. It's going to be. I'm gonna try and get the buzz. Oh, I do get the buzz. I don't think that's a kill though. It's not, and they're doing a ton of damage. So one more push here for both teams. Let's see who's gonna win and who's not going to. Our Nani does get a kill, but unfortunately he does get traded out. We're gonna jump straight on that guy. Gonna get a kill. It's not looking too good. Melody's looking very scary here. We are able to get the kill with Nani though. And I think this should be game. We should be able to just jump right on the safe along with the Edgar and win the game. Let's see, Edgar jumps. He is not gonna get the kill that we need though, unfortunately. Not looking too good. Maybe if we wait for the Edgar to come. Oh no, not looking good. Waiting for that Edgar jump here. Please, I'm gonna go invis so they don't see me. Jumping on the Melody. Please, please. Please, Nani. Nani, no! Nani! Oh, and we win by 1%. Oh, my God. That was crazy. That was such a crazy game. Oh, my God. So, you guys probably want to know what build I use on Kit the Cat. So, I always use Shield Gear because he doesn't have that much health. You always want to make sure you're raising up his health a little bit. Then, you have three other options. You can either go plus one to get an extra hamburger or an extra invis. Depends on the style that you're trying to play the cat. You can go speed if there's a lot of bushes, which I like to go. Or you can go damage, which again, I like to go. Plus one isn't really that necessary. So I would normally use speed and shield or damage and shield. You also want to use the overly attach, which is by far the better star power. And then the gadget obviously depends if you're playing with a tank or something. You want to use the cheeseburger, hamburger, whatever it's called, cheeseburger. And if you're playing more solo as an assassin, then you definitely want to use the cardboard box. All right, so here we go into Brawl Ball now. So I put on the cheeseburger because I expected our randoms to 
have a tank on this map, but we have two Sandys instead, which is pretty interesting. I'm gonna play the ball up over here. Let's just jump on him. No way he does that. Okay, so I should have just walked that direction. Now, Sandy and Cord do really well into the cat. I would say Cord is the biggest cat counter because whatever you jump on, whoever is back you jump on, you can just Cord dimension them and then the cat wastes super. Now I'm one shot the super, so I wanna jump on someone where our Sandys can get super. I just don't know where anyone is at the moment. Oh no, our teammate's probably gonna go down. That's gonna be a kill. I'm gonna jump right on his back. Oh no, I wasted my jump, but I still got a double kill anyways. I'm gonna go over here. Good kill by our Sandy. We're gonna get a couple hits and just like that, it's 1-1. One, one. So it's looking pretty good. I haven't used my cheeseburger one time yet, but it hasn't, you know, I haven't really gotten a chance to, unfortunately. Oh no, that's not good. One, two, please. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be a kill. Oh, I should jump on that Nita, shouldn't I? Okay, there we go. So even if I die straight away, I still do all the damage and I still stun the Nita, which is very important that you guys know. So you don't need to jump all the time to stay alive the whole time. Sometimes jumping to die is okay. So I'm gonna move forward here. We're gonna try and get this Nita to the best of our abilities. I'm gonna jump on him and get the kill, but again, it's not looking too good. There's a whole lot going on and we have a sand two Sandys and a cat. So this is just a really weird game. We're gonna be able to pick up that kill. Who even knows what's happening at this point, though? I'm gonna go down. It looks like this is probably gonna be game over here. Oh, Sandy with the stun. Come on, Sandy. Oh. Ah, close try. But we were pretty close. We did do a pretty good job there. All right, so here we go. Now we are going into knockout, and I think knockout is easily Kit's best mode. You guys all know that. So the issue here is most people play as a team, especially when you're playing at rank 35 range. They're playing Kit with a tank so you guys can see they have kit cord and bb so i don't know exactly how we're gonna play this or what we're gonna do but at least we do have a surge on our team for whatever reason i guess he was ready for this okay so they should be pushing out here i have no idea where their kit is i was gonna go ahead and jump on oh that did not work how i thought it would okay so that just doesn't work so you can't kit jump on a kit i didn't know that's how that worked but I guess I know now. So our surge does have a level. Cord is on that right side. So I think the plan is going to be for me to jump. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not good. Come on, surge. Okay, I'm able to get one kill. Come on, surge. Surge, please. Oh, there's one. Please. Please. There we go. So we're able, I think we got a triple kill there, right? So I think we got all three. This has been a pretty crazy game so far. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we are close to the win here. We're gonna push up, see, oh, get him, get him, Surge, get him. And there we go, that's all we needed. So now it's a 3v2, things are looking a lot better for us. Get me out of here. I'm dead, I think. Okay, I threw, I actually threw. Surge! Surge! No! Why would we do that? Oh my god, we had it in our hands. But at least, at the very least, you guys can see that the cat is broken. There are so many different things and different ways to win a game. I mean, I literally, I think, 1v3 that last round just by, you know, being Kit the Cat. And I didn't even have the hamburger strategy. So, hopefully you guys can see that this brawler is actually really good and really broken. I don't know when this happened or how it happened, but Kit is the GOAT. He's taking over ladder. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back soon. Peace.